You hear about it every day, on the TV, on the radio. They even make movies about it. Child molesters. Adults who want to have sex with kids. That would never happen to me. I know enough to look out for strangers. <laughs> well, here's a news flash. Most child molesters are not strangers. They're usually someone a kid knows. Like a friend or even a relative. Someone that you trust. A lot of kids don't even know or see what's happening until they're in the middle of it. They just think they're hanging out together because the person really cares about them. That's what happened to Justin. In his case, it was a relative, his uncle Joe, who he trusted and liked a lot. Justin spends a lot of time with his uncle because his mom works nights and his dad does a lot of traveling with his job. So to Justin, Uncle Joe is almost like another dad and they've grown really close. His parents think it's great they've got such a good relationship. It helps them out a lot, but things aren't exactly as they may seem. Uncle Joe, it's me. Justin, come on in. I got a surprise for you. What's up? Where's Aunt Jennifer? Uh, ladies night out. Whoa, you have most definitely been working out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you doing this for some girl? Nah, I'm just trying to impress the coach. You know, got some serious competition with the other guys. Well, no problem here. I mean, look at these muscles. <laughs> Any coach would be out of his mind if he let you get away. <laughs> Tell him that, would you? Maybe you need someone to show you how to talk to your coach, to, to get him to see your true potential. Or maybe to talk to him for you. Bet you I could do that. Would you? For my favorite nephew, anything. <laughs> Sweet. I almost forgot the surprise. Get out. An Xbox? You bought an Xbox. Yes. <laughs> you know I love to have you around, Justin, and I figured I'd get something new for when you're here. I don't know about you, but I am getting tired of hanging out playing video games at the mall, so I decided to bring the games to us. Oh, wow, thanks. You're the best, Uncle Joe. Hmm. Up for a game now? Sure, it's all set and ready to go. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to mention that your mom called and says she's going to have to work late, so that means that you could stay over. No rules, no curfew. You can stay up as late as you like. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I lost again. I don't have a prayer. What is it, five games in a row? Oh, come on, Justin, don't rub it in. You want a sip? It's just a beer. I mean, your parents wouldn't mind if you drank here with me. Of course, we don't have to tell them either. Sure, since I'm winning. Oof, you are just getting way too sure of yourself, dude. Tell you what, let's make it a little more interesting. Like how? Well, let's see. Um, how about a variation of strip poker Xbox style? You know, where if you lose a game, you have to take off a piece of clothing. I don't know, that seems kind of weird to me. Oh, come on, Justin, it's just the two of us. Your dad and I used to do it all the time when we played poker back in college. What's the matter, you afraid you're gonna lose? Not hardly. We'll see. Hey, dude, I need a break. If I lose too many more times, I won't have any clothes on at all. I'll look just like the guys in this EVD I want to show you. You'll like this. Wait a sec. Dad and Mom have got all the locks on the TVs and the computers, just so I don't see this stuff. Oh, man, we used to just watch this stuff all the time. Now, my brother and your mom aren't here, are they? Besides, guys your age are interested and curious about sex. Justin, you gotta take charge. Oh, I wanna be in charge. Spoken like a true man. Now they're having a good time. Isn't it amazing how all you have to do sometimes to, is to just to touch someone just right to make them feel good? You'll drive the girls nuts if you can give them a good massage. Really? You're just rubbing their backs. <laughs> oh, it's learning and how to do it the right way. Let me show you. Lay on your stomach. Take your shirt off first. Now, I'm really gonna show you something. Now, it's 
rubbing the muscles in one direction, kind of elongating the muscles. Just relax. Yeah, that's it. it. Now, if you really want to make someone feel good, Carl, what are you doing? Can you stop? Are you okay? No, I'm not. You're not supposed to be doing this. I'm, I gotta go. No, Justin, you don't want to do that. But what are you gonna to say to your parents? You, you got beer on your breath. I'll say that I, I I caught you going in the refrigerator to get a beer after I told you you couldn't have one. Now, now who do you think they're gonna believe, you or me? Well, you have no right to be touching me like that. Oh, come on, Justin, he's my brother. Who do you think he's gonna believe? He knows that the kids always make things up and, 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 and take things the wrong way. He'll listen. Oh, right. <laughs> He'll listen. Beer breath and all, huh? All right, Justin. Make that call. Go ahead. Tell him to come and pick you up. Oh, come on, Justin. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Why don't you just come over here and relax? Come on. I don't feel so good. I gotta go. Let's have a little reality check to make sure we all got the message. Remember, the three R's. Recognize, resist, and report. Even if someone is a family friend or relative, they don't have the right to force you or trick you into sexual touch or any situation that makes you feel uncomfortable. Remember, when we talked at the beginning about the stranger danger stories you see in the news, those things do happen, but not very often. So we want you to recognize the red flags to keep you and your friends safe. Most kids that this happens to know the person, which is why a molester tries to get them alone with them, without other adults around. They build up the relationship to be this great, trusting, caring thing, and then they turn it on you. Gifts, money, trips. Then, when you're alone with the person, trick. Recognize that situations where others are not around to help are more risky than public areas. Some might try to trick you by giving you alcohol or drugs so you won't be able to think straight. Don't take it. You've got to stay in control. And if you do take some, try to keep your head together and look for the first chance to get away. If an adult makes a move on you, resist. Tell them to stop and get away as soon as possible. Don't worry about being rude. The sooner you get away from the situation, the better off you are. When you feel threatened or uncomfortable, say, no, I don't want to do this in a strong voice. Don't stay if you don't feel safe. If you can't walk to a safe place, get help from a neighbor or a nearby adult with a phone. Knock on the door and ask them to call your parents or 911, then wait outside. Call 911. Any cell phone or pay phone will complete a 911 call without money. The earlier you resist, the more likely it is that a molester will back off. A molester doesn't like rejection any more than the rest of us but he also doesn't want to be caught either. If you feel threatened, keep thinking of your best ways to get away from the person. Then report it. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't think you can handle this by yourself. No one can. When it's time to tell, you should report to a trusted adult anything that hurts you or makes you feel scared or that you feel is wrong. You may be able to tell your parents. Other adults you may trust are another adult family member, school teacher or counselor, your doctor, or your religious advisor. In many communities, there are helplines to call if you are unsure about what you should do. If you were ever in this kind of situation, it is very important to tell someone so that you can stop the abuse and get some help. If you feel it's an emergency and you don't know who to trust, call 911 or the police. Then tell what happened. Don't worry about the words. Just tell what happened. But if something like this happens to you, know that it is not your fault. Unless it will probably try to make you think it's your fault. And this is what they do to keep you quiet. But you did nothing wrong. Sometimes when boys are molested by a guy, they worry that being molested means you're gay. But all it means is you've been molested. These molesters are smooth, real cons. Recognize, resist, and report. You can do this. Protect yourself. That's your right, and that's the right thing to do.